Three adult large lions noticed a young male who wandered into their territory in search of food. Three lions pounced on the alien, expecting easy punishment. But this young lion with a very small mane managed to fight back against three rivals at once. He fought so desperately and fiercely that the three males eventually let him go. Although the young lion had to leave, he saved his life. In a battle against three lions, this is already a feat. And we will show you other episodes when the animals underestimated their opponents. In general, rodents are common prey for snakes. But this rat is probably a relative of Splinter's teacher. She's dodging cobra throws. The snake even opens up its collar, which it does not do for hunting, but for self-defense. At the same time, the rat does not run away, but counterattacks one of the most venomous snakes on the planet, which specializes in rodents. When a group of wildlife researchers noticed a giraffe's head among the tall vegetation, people did not expect who would come out to meet them. That's who the real master of original and elegant appearances on stage is. The giraffe comes out between the trees with several lionesses who clung to his body from different sides. One predator on its back, and several more are getting in the way, trying to keep their hooves. The situation looks very dangerous and frightening, but pay attention to how easily the giraffe moves. Is he showing off in front of the people? Even with such a load, he moves almost effortlessly. The giraffe simply ignores all attempts of the lionesses to detain, stop, and overwhelm themselves. The lionesses clearly overestimated their strength. It even looks insulting. They pay no more attention to the fangs and claws of hunters than they do to mosquitoes. But the huntress does not give up. In vain, later it turned out that everything is fine with the giraffe's endurance as well as with physical strength. The lionesses wandered around for some time, but they clearly did not have the strength to attack again. The hyena is a fairly large predator, which often surpasses the flexible leopard in mass. In addition, hyenas are gregarious animals, preferring to attack in groups when possible. This is how they not only hunt, but also rob their competitors. And that is exactly what happened here. Two hyenas attacked a leopard that had just caught a hoofed animal. The cat made every effort and got tired. Suddenly, two enemies at once, each of which can pose a threat, try to catch up and grab with their crushingly strong jaws. The leopard had to retreat. Except the hyenas didn't know who they were messing with. The leopard is an insidious and intelligent animal that is not afraid of difficulties. He did run away, but immediately disappeared into a thicket of tall, thick grass. The hyenas grabbed his prey and got carried away. They didn't try to track the leopard, so one of the hyenas went straight into his paws. When the spotted predator is resting for a while, it counterattacks. A real positional struggle has begun. The leopard rushed at the hyena, and now she had to run away. Although the bite of its jaws can shatter bone, the scavenger does not want to feel the powerful blows of the leopard's muscular paws on his muzzle. However, he does not run for long. He is again supported by a relative, and together they push the leopard back again. The hyena's numerical advantage is their only trump card. The leopard showed his opponent that he was not afraid of a one-on-one -on -one fight. He spoiled the opponent's appetite, showed that it was not worth messing with him, but he did not bring the fight to a fatal ending, because even if he took at least one hyena with him, the second one would definitely get back to him. Backing down was a smart decision, don't you agree? Here, one hyena tried to chase away a leopard. As you can see, although these rivals are approximately in the same weight category, the approach of the enemy did not make any impression on the panther. It seems that the leopard disdains the hyena. She brazenly approaches from the side and seems to pretend that she wants to attack. But she doesn't dare. She knows what this threatens her with. When the hyena decided that she could intimidate and push back the leopard with her mere presence, 
she clearly did not understand who she was dealing with. The panther has not forgotten how meanly hyenas use numerical advantage and rob their competitors. As soon as the leopard spotted a lone hyena with the prey in its mouth, the cat knew what to do. He violently attacked the enemy to teach him a painful lesson. It seems that the spotted cat does not care about the prey at all. He purposefully steps on the hyena and beats it with his paws, grabs it with his fangs, tramples it into the dust and suppresses any resistance. Now the hyena will think twice before trying to rob and take food from the cats. At least she won't be walking around here anymore without the support of the pack. Although the hyena tried to fight back, it ran too far in a panic. The leopard grabbed the abandoned prey and jumped onto a tree before the enemy's fangs even had time to grab onto it. As a result, the leopard had no damage and a hearty lunch, and the beaten hyena is forced to return hungry to her relatives. Such dexterity and impetuosity of the panther deserves your life, doesn't it? Tigers lead a predominantly solitary lifestyle so they often react aggressively to strangers on their territory. But sometimes attacking an uninvited guest is a bad idea. This tiger is a powerful and adult predator at the peak of its strength, so he was confident that he could teach a painful lesson to the intruder he spotted in the bushes. But the thickets hid most of the body of the alien tiger, which turned out to be no smaller and certainly no weaker than the predator that attacked it. An impressive fight between two furious rivals began. The aggressor tiger managed to sneak up on the stranger and attack him, but he gave an impressive rebuff. An exchange of crushing blows began, some of which hit both rivals in the face. The aggressor clearly did not expect such a rebuff and counted on a quick victory and escape of the stranger. In vain, the cats grappled, their growls could be heard for miles, and one or the other opponent had the advantage. Finally, the tiger defending its territory managed to bring the stranger down on his back. But it was too early to celebrate the victory. The opponent used a cunning trick. He grabbed the enemy's head with his claws, pulled it towards him, and began to hit him in the face with his hind paws. As a result, the tigers dispersed on different sides, both predators survived and remained without serious injuries. This fight will be remembered for a long time. The aggressor was even able to defend its territory. But the striped muzzle will remind him for a while that even if you were a mighty tiger, sneaking up on an equally strong relative is a bad idea. The largest land animals on the planet are elephants, which can reach a mass of more than five tons. The height of a single-story house, the length of the body, like a minibus, tusks as long as a man's height. It's impressive. It seems that a mature and powerful male the size of an entire house simply cannot have worthy rivals in a one-on-one -on -one duel. Just look at how freely this elephant is among a huge herd of angry and vicious hippos. These animals are fiercely territorial and hate intruders. Such a number of behemoths as gathered here, it's a whole army. But the elephant doesn't care. He wants to swim, and he goes into the water. And when one behemoth still dares to attack an elephant, it does so from behind. The main weapon of a hippopotamus is its jaws, with which it can sink a motorboat or a speedboat. Against the background of an elephant, these animals do not seem big, but believe me, hippos are incredibly strong and their ramming attack can turn over a van. Besides, biting an elephant's tail into the back of its legs is a pretty calculated plan, isn't it? However, the behemoth underestimated its opponent. The elephant just kicked the behemoth underwater, and the three-ton aggressor was thrown back. The behemoth does not calm down and tries to attack again. He opens his mouth wide and wants to hook his sharp fangs into the elephant's flesh to pierce its skin. But another powerful kick forces the behemoth to finally abandon the idea. Having been punched in the face, he retreats. It may seem that the adult elephant has no equal rival.
A huge hippopotamus attacked a group of rhinos. A real battle of the titans, in which both species are excellent fighters. A hippopotamus and a rhinoceros weigh about the same, about three tons. Pretty cool, isn't it? They have excellent protection. The rhino skin is tough as armor, and the hippo skin is smooth and thick. The rhinoceros has a horn, and the hippopotamus has powerful jaws with long fangs. But still, the hippopotamus is much more aggressive, and at first it seems that he will win thanks to this pressure and the pressure that he exerts on his rivals. For a long time, the hippopotamus stands in front of the opponent and threatens him with his jaws, which it seems can fit the entire head of the opponent. But the hippopotamus thinks too highly of his strength. Rhinos should not be messed with, especially if they are protecting their family. When the hippopotamus went to ram, he first managed to push aside his opponent, but then the rhinoceros turned around and showed the hippopotamus who was in charge here. A terrible stabbing blow from the bottom up is the practical main technique in the rhino's arsenal, but what an effective one. The behemoth is in a panic. He realized his mistake too late, and he was almost gutted. His hide barely withstood the impact. However, the pain after this rhino attack will make the hippo treat these neighbors with great respect. Here, the elephant decided to show a younger relative that he's the one in charge here. It's just one thing to scatter hyenas helpless against such a giant, and it's quite another to fight someone in your weight class. The young elephant is only slightly smaller than the aggressor. He more than compensates for the lack of size and combat experience with the enthusiasm of youth and incredible rage. At first, it seems that he did not show any fighting excitement and retreated. But the first surprise from the attack of the mature male passed, and the young elephant immediately seized the initiative. A battle of almost equal rivals has begun, which looks incredibly cinematic. The earth is just shaking from the collision of two such giants. At the same time, elephants combine incredible power with elegance. When they fight with their tusks, it resembles aristocratic fencing. So accurate and insidious are the blows the rivals inflict on each other. The trunk is also used, but more as a defensive weapon, with which opponents try to intercept each other's tusks. Such confrontation alternates with the exchange of crushing blows, ramming tactics, and maneuvers, during which elephants try to push back an opponent, outflank him, find an advantageous angle for an offensive, or surprise the enemy with an unexpected attack. Although the combat experience of the veteran elephant is estimated for decades, he should not have underestimated the young opponent, who also has something to surprise the old man. Interestingly enough, their duel looks quite noble. Yes, the opponents do not spare and do not give in. They fight fiercely and use their strength 100%. If such an attack had fallen on a rhinoceros or a hippopotamus, each of which are also heavy, although it is almost twice as inferior as the elephant, then only a wet spot could have remained on the ground. But at the same time, elephants do not use what we would call cavities. The aggressor did not try to attack suddenly. He did not hit the opponent in the side or back with the sharp tips of the tusk when the young elephant was not ready for this. Why do you think that is? Let us know your opinion in the comment section. Elephants butt heads, ramming each other with powerful strong foreheads, trying to knock each other down. They raise up whole clouds of dust, and then the real climax of the battle takes place. A powerful ramming attack with tusks, which the defending beast met by crossing its weapons with them. And it couldn't stand it. The tusk broke, and a piece of it flew off to the side. It looks pretty epic. But after that moment, the fight suddenly subsides. Strangely enough, even despite the adrenaline coursing through their veins and natural aggression, the elephants manage to control their impulses and stop in time. The duel ends without fatal consequences for the opponents. The rivals are going in different directions. The young elephant gave a powerful rebuff to the mature aggressor, but there is no clear winner here. 
and all because elephants avoid taking the life of a relative to the last. I would say that's pretty worthy of respect, wouldn't you? Cheetahs are the fastest runners among all the animals on the planet, but that doesn't make them invulnerable at all. Here, a family of cheetahs encountered lions. Mighty, mature males are about four times more massive, so it's not really surprising that they develop a speed half that of cheetahs. But their agility and ability to gain speed at lightning speed could not be underestimated. These cheetahs let the enemy get too close to them, and paid the price. To gain maximum speed, the spotted cats need only a couple of seconds, but the lions did not give their rivals this amount of time. While the cheetah was just picking up speed, the lion was already rushing at him like a live battering ram, and the huge cat knocked the opponent off his paws and instantly knocked him to the ground. The cheetah fought back, trying to hit the lion's muzzle with his clawed paws, but the advantage and strength of the larger cat is huge. The lion quickly crushed the opponent with powerful blows of its paws, after which he brutally broke his neck with a bite of its strong jaws. The rest of the cheetahs had to retreat, especially since there are two male lions here. They showed the runners who was the most dangerous predator route here. Four hunting dogs noticed the lizard and immediately rushed at the reptile, but they clearly underestimated their opponent, most of whose body was hidden by muddy water. The lizard turned out to be much cooler than the predators thought it was. When she fought back, it became clear that the length of the reptile's body is about one and a half times larger than that of any of the dogs. But there were four of them, and they were aggressive, especially on their own territory. Therefore, the dogs continue to attack. Well, it's your own fault. The lizard uses water as its main shelter. She dives under the algae and becomes almost invisible. Nevertheless, we must give the dogs their due. They turned out to be real brave men, and one of them rushed into the water to this monster while the others patrolled the shore. But to no avail, it did not work out defeating the lizard. The dogs chased the reptile for quite a long time until it finally got tired. The reptile made a lightning dash to the side, and probably by accident, she twitched her tail and hit one of the dogs in the face. Or maybe the slap was part of a defensive tactic? Or was the reptile just showing the dogs how much she despised them? What do you all watching think? Reply in the comments. When lions gather to hunt, they are a force to be reckoned with especially if males join the females. But the rhinoceros is not the kind of beast that will easily surrender even to such enemies. These huge herbivores may look sleepy and slow, but in fact, they turn out to be incredibly fast runners and aggressive fighters. Rhinos have poor eyesight, so they can let a predator get close enough to them. The lions probably thought they had scared the rhinos and made them freeze in place in fear. Not at all. The herbivores just saw the predators too late. But when they finally saw it, the most interesting thing began. The lions should not have run into the displeasure of these giants. Rhinos respond to any threat with an aggressive and furious attack. A rhinoceros is more than 10 times heavier than an adult male lion, and a lioness versus a rhinoceros is like a kitten. But it seems the predatory cats do not understand what a huge advantage in strength such a massive herbivore gives. Well, the rhinos will explain it to them. Lions attack prey from different sides and try to surround it. But by causing whole clouds of dust, the rhinos are able to stop almost instantly and turn around for an impressive counterattack. Their main weapon is their horn. It's only one, but it's very sharp and long. Terrible blows from the bottom up can lift a lion into the air as if it were a kitten. In addition, even a light hit of the horn on the enemy's body leads to terrible stab wounds, which often end fatally for the enemies of these herbivorous giants. But this is not all that is in the arsenal of the mighty beasts. Rhinos prefer ramming attacks, and in this, they have reached the pinnacle of skill. You definitely don't expect such maneuverability with them, but an adult rhinoceros is able to quickly change the direction of its movement, shake its head towards the enemy, or simply just trample it. 
into the powerful and very thick hard skin acts perfectly as a natural body armor, withstanding the blows of the clawed paws or even mature male lions. Even one rhinoceros can literally scatter a group of several lions and lionesses. And if there are two herbivores, they will effectively protect and cover each other. Although in exceptional cases, lions can defeat such an opponent, as you can see. They are not in front of you. Here, the rhinoceros is clearly winning, and the lions are only lucky enough to avoid their ramming blows. When a cat is sunbathing, it should not be disturbed at all. Just look at this furry little charmer. Except this kitty's got claws, and she is not afraid to use them. When two dogs pass by, they shouldn't have bullied this cat. She endured it for a couple of seconds, of course, and then got up and just threw one of the offenders into the pool. And that's what effective problem solving and communication is called. A fox is a prey for a dog. Some breeds were bred specifically for fox hunting. For example, dachshunds. And if this dog, which looks like a little wiener dog, can hope with a fox in her hole, then this large black dog is able to just tear apart its opponents in general in three seconds, isn't it? Except the dog doesn't know who he's messing with. Foxes are incredibly fast and agile animals. This red-haired predator takes off like a racing car. Maybe the fox is not the fastest animal in the world, but his ability to accelerate is outstanding. In addition, due to its small mass, the fox changes direction faster. Combined with the natural agility and maneuverability, this makes him almost elusive. But the main thing is still the cunning of the red predator. Pay attention. The fox does not just run away from a large dog in a panic, but tracks the movements of the enemy and reacts to them in time. Has the dog stopped? So the fox can too. Did the dog attack? Then the bath fox will bounce back. A large hunting dog is about three times more massive than an opponent and will be able to break the fox's necks if he grabs it. But it seems that for the redhead, this chase is just a game. In fact, the fox is not only having fun as an adrenaline addicted biker, he also uses a trick to save his energy by accurately calculating the trajectory of the enemy's movement and stopping when the dog does so, the fox retains maximum strength. He is tough, but not indefinitely. So it is important for him not to panic and not try to break away from his pursuer. After all, there may be beaters ahead, an ambush of other dogs, or a hunter with a gun. The fox understands this and is not going to allow himself to be driven like a panicked rabbit. The dog is furious, breaking into a run again and again in an attempt to catch prey. But he can't reach such a nimble beast. But then something completely amazing happens. When the dog gets tired of this running around, it allows itself to turn its back on the fox. And this is a big mistake. This miniature beast may not be a super fighter, but it is not afraid to attack the offender if the opportunity presents itself. As a result, the fox grabs the dog by the groin with his fangs. The dog reacts instantly, but the red-haired beast dodges even at this close range. The dog has learned his lesson and will no longer neglect this opponent. And here, the fox generally trolls a huge kangai. This breed belongs to the strongest herding dogs in the world. Three Kangals can fight a bear. A fox should tremble in panic at the mere sight of a, such a powerful enemy, should it not? No way. This clever wild hunter immediately noticed that the Kangal was on a chain. Therefore, right in front of the eyes of the heavyweight dog, struck by such arrogance, the fox calmly surveys the territory, runs around, and seems to tease the enemy. The Kangal rushes forward but can't really do anything, because the chain is holding it securely. The fox is also at risk because he did not really measure the length of the leash. But the reaction speed does not let the wild predator down, and he dodges the enemy's fangs. By the way, if you would like to see more about the strongest dog breeds of the world, then let us know in the comments. 
Which of today's cases, when a powerful beast received an unexpectedly steep rebuff, struck you more than the rest? Epic battles or curiously skirmishes with a funny ending? Let us know your opinion in the comments and do not forget to subscribe. We'll see you more often.